Welcome to Wealth Creation Investing's Monday Market Outlook. Matthew Buckley, the uh, Chief Investment Strategist here at uh, WCI. And a uh, very interesting weekend, uh, especially over in the Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine saying that uh, Russian troops are preparing for a ground invasion. There was a shootout uh, at last reports that I saw. About five people were killed in a clash in eastern Ukraine. Perfect pretext for uh, Putin, who already, quote, says he has the uh, the authority of his, whatever he calls it, parliament to uh, to, to use force or um, to protect ethnic Russians in eastern Ukraine. Perfect pretext for him to go in there. Uh, this is going to get uglier as we sit here uh, on our hands. As the United States, the European clown car, do absolutely nothing. Uh, Putin's going to do some uh, good work in eastern Ukraine. This is the, the re-emergence of the former Soviet Union, and, uh, and the West is just sitting here going through boiled frog syndrome. Just sitting here in our pot of water as uh, Putin slowly turns uh, turns up the heat. So whether it's uh, our withdrawal from the Middle East, uh, our uh, quote pivot to Asia, which China is laughing at, uh, or you know just what's going on uh, here in Europe, uh, we're uh, again at. at as I tell my TGO traders and WCI traders and investors, we only care when we care, right? We only care when the media tells us to care and when uh, it, it'll be too late by the time and something really bad happens uh, overseas. So uh, I'm going to be hedged and ready for these uh, these type of events, uh, and I hope you are too. Rip your face off rallies recently, guys. S&P 500 posts best weekly uh, gains since July, mainly on uh, corporate earnings, right? Um I kind of dispute that headline a little bit from Bloomberg because I also think it's the Fed. Uh, the earnings have been lukewarm, in my opinion, especially since uh, over half haven't been beats. And of the half that have been beats, uh, you know, uh, if you can't hit the ball over the net, lower the net. There, there are some uh, standouts who uh, are looking uh, extremely uh, well and strong. Some of the financials, but other financials are, are uh, looking uh, pretty weak. So um, I, I, I don't know. I just don't. Uh, I just don't feel it that this earnings season is is not going to cover off the ball. It's just it, it's not there. Uh, but who cares? We have a Fed that's propping up the market, so we uh, we melt up higher. Uh, this week on the flight schedule, uh, not too much on Monday. Conference boards leading uh, economic indicators. We've got a lot of housing this week. On Tuesday, uh, we're going to see existing home sales in the Richmond Fed, although the Philly Fed and the New York Empire Index uh, implo oh, uh, the Empire um, imploded last week, and the uh, market didn't even uh, blink. And the Philly he Fed, I think while it was good, uh, the guts of it, when you actually read the report, uh, the, their hope index or, or so-called hope index was the lowest it's been in recorded memory, I think. Um, <clears throat> but this one gets my attention. Tuesday night, as we're snug in a bung in a rug, or as I'm watching the Flyers, hopefully beating um, uh, the, the, the folks at uh, home there, we're going to see the HSBC flash manufacturing PMI. This will be a potentially market-moving event with uh, – with U.S. equities markets, okay? So be ready Wednesday morning for the market opening, potentially with a gap up or gap down based on uh, what happens over there with China's PMI. We saw their GDP come out with a, quote, better than expected beat last week, and, and we didn't bat an eye. Uh, we went up, even though it was the lowest print in 18 uh, months. A lot of European PMI coming out uh, Wednesday morning as, as uh, we're uh, snug as bugs. Uh, new home sales on Wednesday. Um, and flash manufacturing PMI Thursday, some weekly unemployment claims, durable goods orders, uh, and core durable goods. Remember, whenever you see the word core, it means X something. Uh, and in uh, this case, uh, it's X transportation items, right? You know, Boeing, 777s, and all those type of things. And then on Friday, uh, we're going to see some flash services uh, PMI and revised University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment, yawn. So not – I'd say it's an average macro macroeconomic – data week for us earnings will be the driver of this market and then maybe uh, maybe that uh, China PMI if it's a big miss or a big hit to the upper downside we may feel that across the uh, the Pacific okay uh, gotta run happy hunting make sure you hedge have a great week and I'll uh, I'll talk to you uh, with Friday's market wrap-up here at wealth creation investing we'll see you